a character named Will who is returning to his old house that he and his now ex-wife, the uh, Eden, um, once had a family in there. He's returning to a house and very early on learned that uh, their son had passed uh, in a freak accident. And so he is returning with all of his damage and she's returning with all of hers. And um, you know, it's a dinner party uh, with their friends as well, uh, invited and some other uh, people who I don't think he, he was expecting and the uh, worlds start to clash. Yeah, I, I, it was important to me that we didn't, we couldn't put a thumb on him. You know, that we were still wondering who the protagonist is, who the antagonist is, and, and, and that it, you know, um, vacillated between, you know, um, he and David, uh, his, somewhat of his opponent. Um, and, and I think just, you know, where he, you know, where he puts his grief was completely different from where his wife put hers, and so it put them in, in, on the other ends, on the ends of the spectrum. And, and, it, and it really is a movie about grief. It's, it's a psychological thriller, um, but I think there's a beautiful conversation and dialogue about how we grieve and where we put it. I think it was, you know, once, you know, it was a scene about I would be giving, I don't know if I can give the movie away, but it was a scene about realizing that you might be wrong and, um, and seeing a ghost that you thought couldn't be and um, a symbolic ghost. And um, it's not a ghost story. Um, but, you know, I, I knew that I wanted it to be very vulnerable and very raw. And I was hoping that, you know, Karin felt the same, and, and, and she did, and so that's how we approached it. And I knew that that scene was kind of the scene I was most afraid of, but the scene, the reason why I wanted to do the movie. And, yeah. um, and I was glad that the writers and Karin all felt the same way, that it was going to be an excruciating scene, and not just something you could, you could walk through. The script was fantastic, but there were still kind of the, the approach, which I didn't know. This was a script that could easily be, become a genre. Um, you know, your genre of film. But then I, I knew very quickly after meeting Karin and, and understanding her approach that this was going to be a, a dialogue and, um, and a character and relationship driven piece that, uh, you know, had a genre backdrop. Um, and, and I just loved how Karin approached it. I knew instantly that I wanted to work with her. The TV show is called Quarry, and it's for uh, HBO Cinemax, and it'll come out uh, later this year, I think. Yeah, it's great. It's based <laughs> on these books that are loosely based on these murders up and down the Mississippi. And it's about Vietnam vets in the 70s that come home and are, are certainly not approached by their country. They're shunned, and yet they are approached by the CIA and the Mafia to become hired killers, and that's what he decides. <laughs>